one we have this one is when you are recommending something or when you are suggesting something for example at home okay mama is washing the dishes papa is watching movie at the at the living area and a daughter for example she was cleaning something in the toilet okay now papa dad the dad asked daughter daughter take out the trash throw it outside put it outside now mom who was just listening to dad mom will say how about you do it okay ikaw na lang di ay ikaw na lang di ay you mean you're just watching movie and we are all here busy with household chores so why don't you do it or how about you do it so ikaw na lang di ay why don't you be the one to throw the trash outside or to put the trash outside okay so this is when you're so the, the purpose here is when you're recommending or suggesting something because the other person is busy okay okay next one uh there's a kid who is crying or having tantrums uh and then you are just an observer okay so when you realize that the kid was having a tantrum because the kid is uh is sleepy you will realize ah oh, that's the reason why the baby or the kid was having a tantrum because the kid is um, very sleepy okay so then you will say oh that's why so in Visaya that is ah maudi ay ay so you say this when you realize the reason uh, of such action or or of such behavior so you understand the meaning or the reason behind uh, why the child or the person is acting like that or like this or you know acting in a in a different in an undesirable uh, behavior all right next one is when you are having an ex uh, exchange of heated arguments so there is bickering here in this context okay okay for example I have a friend my best friend for example I will tell her but take it now or you're ugly okay so my best friend will say oh really so in Bisaya, we say, ah, di ay ha, ah, di ay ha, okay, like, <laughs> so if she says that, or ah, di ay ha, you expect something to be thrown at you, or maybe she will hit you, so there must be, you know, force that will be thrown at you, okay, so that is the purpose of that, when you are in a heated argument, okay next one this one is when you realize what the other person dislikes or like okay for example okay i have a nephew if uh, i have a nephew and i keep offering him uh food uh, i offered soda i offered candy but and then i have a cake on the table for example so i keep offering him different kind of food or snacks but in reality he really likes the cake he wants to take he wants to eat some cake okay and then my nephew will say i want the cake i want to eat the cake so i will realize that you know the things that i offered to him is actually of no value to him because he is focused on it he wants to eat the cake okay that is what he want okay so i will say oh so you want cake oh, oh so you want the cake so i will say cake di ay imong gusto 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 okay ngayon wala mo ka nagsulti okay so mga igala i will discuss the second sentence that i just said in a few seconds okay so cake di ay so the di ay here i already i have a realization that what he really likes was the cake instead of other food okay so imong here is you the imong here is actually a pronoun it's a possessive pronoun imo but here the counterpart in the english language is you okay so imong gusto you what you want okay imong gusto so gusto is one mga igala 
okay? So now, let's discuss this. So the next one is still the same thing. There is a presence of realization here. You realize something, okay? So this one is a bit long, but we will discuss this slowly, all right? And, and we will break it downward forward. Oh, you do not like cakes. So this one, we already have a negator, delete, okay? Okay, oh, you do not like cake. In Bisaya, we say, Dili di ay ka ganahan o cake. Dili di ay ka ganahan o cake. Okay, dili di ka ganahan o cake. So, nga nung wa man ka nisulti na ko. Nga nung wa man ka nisulti na ko. Dili di ay ka ganahan o cake. Nga nung wala man ka ni, or nga nung wa man ka nisulti na ko. Oh, you do not like cakes. Why you didn't tell me? Okay. Okay, Dili is not here. Dili is not here. And then and then the I is like O. And then ka is you. Ganahan is like. And then we have ong here. Ong here is like um acts like a connector because our object here is cake. To connect cake here to dili the ka ganahan, we should add og. Okay. So it's like what do you not like? Okay, what don't you like? Uh yeah, I don't like cake. So you put og to connect cake to the to the phrase, okay? And then nganong means why. And then we have ng here in nganong, okay? This is the ng here is the nga linker. Wa here is actually a contracted or a short form of wala. Okay? Wala or wa. Wala or wa. So wa is the short form of wala. Okay? That means when you say wala, there is absence of something. There is no, it doesn't exist, okay? Wa man. Man here is more like an emphasis. Also with the presence of man here, it makes the sentence a little bit more uh, on the softer side, okay? So ka here is you and ni sulti. This is in past tense of sulti. That means tell, to tell someone. So basically, uh, told. Okay, nisulti means told or uh, spoke. Nako, nako is a pronoun which is focused on the object. But here in this case, nako is normally put after the verb. So our verb here is nisulti. So when you say nako is to me, okay, it could mean by me, to me, or with me. One more time, dili di ay kaganahan ng cake. So you realize something. If we are going to omit the I here, Okay, if we are just going to say, Dili ka ganahan o okay, cake, it is very direct that there is no realization. That means you did not realize that that person doesn't like cake. Okay, so here you just, if we are going to meet the eye, you are just asking the person if he likes cake or if she likes cake. Cake, okay. So here with the presence of the eye, you realize that he or she doesn't like cake. Again, nanong wa man ka nisulti na ko. Nanong wa man ka nisulti na ko. Why you didn't tell me that you don't like cake? Okay? So these two, normally in a, in a regular conversation, mga higala, these two are, are like a pair. Okay? If you realize something, we normally say, nanong wa man ka nisulti na ko. Or nanong, uy, wa man ka nisulti. <laughs> or you didn't tell me. Okay? You didn't say anything. Wa man ka nisulti. So these two, most of the time, they are like a pair, okay, when you realize something, okay. It's really good if you practice these two sentences, mga because this is very, very common.